Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we'll start our devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following persons or channel. Mian Fing, Jenerin Alferes, Liz Daklan, Inang Tu Sa Japan, Rose Ann Villegas, Sian TV Guapo, Pamilya Laagan Channel, Sing Si 23 TV, Seventh Ninja Cebuano Guy, Amakoldab Channel, Foreman's Work, Michael Aburita, Swagger Bailu, Elinda Villegas, Ging Azara Blog, Marilyn Villa, Bunzo Saiki, Papa Hubert, Joss Travel and Tour, Boost Jack TV, Arlene Balwang, Yang's TV One, Mind Phoebe, The Inman's Blog, Tita Doris Blog, and Edwin Oganafin Channel. Guys, kumusta yung Sabado natin? Hoping na yung mga household chore natin ay sa done well na with God's blessing. Walang backlog sa mga natatrabaho naman. May it all be productive. no? And uh, blessed by God because we really prepared everything for God. no? And everything we do, we must also do it. For the glory of God. Okay, guys, uh, let's now proceed to our devotional. It's May 1, no? So, sana nga productive tayo, no? Welcoming the month of May with a lot of blessing. Dapat, uh, i-welcome din natin si Lord sa buhay natin. So, our whole month of May will become productive, no? Okay, guys, let's open our Bible to Proverbs 17, verses 19 to 22. Still, I'm using the devotional study Bible because as I said many times, I'm using this because the words you see is so simplified that we can really understand it. No? Okay, Proverbs 17 verses 19 to 22. Kung konti lang to, no? He who loves a quarrel loves sin. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> he who loves quarrel loves sin. He who builds a high gate invites destruction. A man of first Persevering heart does not prosper. He whose tongue is deceitful falls into trouble. To have a food for a son brings grief. There is no joy for the father of a fool. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but crushed spirit dries up the bones. Amen and amen. No? That's just Proverbs, guys, but uh, uh, ano, uh, it means a lot. The word is so strong. No? Okay, guys, let's now pray. Father God, we thank you, O God, for the word na nabasa namin, O God. Yes, Lord, teach us na, not to keep on committing sin, but instead, it is you who will control us, O God. Lord, if we have done something wrong this uh, day, we pray to please forgive us from all those what we have done, O God. May uh, we gain... Uh, Peace of mind, joy in heart, even as we prepare ourselves before sleeping this evening, oh God. Lord, we even pray to please bless the viewers, oh God, na they will not only hit like, but uh, down sa Lord, but listen, oh God, to your word, that the word would, be, uh, would penetrate to their very own spirit, oh God. Even as I plant them the word, oh God, may this plant, uh, may, may this uh, seed of word grow in their heart and in their spirit that they may turn to you. Lord, thank you that we can commit all these things to you. In this name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our <clears throat> focus verse for today is found in Proverbs 17.22 and it says, A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a cross spirit dries up the bones. No? So, wag natin hayaan na yung bones natin would uh, always become dry. But it would always be a cheerful heart. No? So, it would become a medicine for us and to the people around us. Okay, the title of our devotion for this uh, evening, guys, is Biblical Prescription. Okay, Greg and Elizabeth have a regular joke night with their four school-age children 
it shall bring several jokes. They dread or hurt or made up themselves during this week to tell at the dinner's table. This tradition has created joyful memories of fun shared around the table. Greg and Elizabeth even noticed the laughter was healthy for their children, lifting their spirit out on difficult days. The benefit of joyful conversation around the dinner table was observed by C.S. Lewis, who wrote, The sun looks down on nothing half so good as a household laughing together over a meal. The wisdom of fostering a joyful heart is found in Proverbs 17.22, where we read, A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a cross spirit dries up the bones. The Proverbs offer a prescription to stimulate health and healing, allowing joy to fill our hearts, a medicine that costs little and yields great result. We all need this biblical prescription. When we bring joy into our conversation, it can put a disagreement into perspective. It can help us to experience it can help us to experience peace even after a stressful test at school or a difficult day at work. Laughter among family and friends can create a safe place where we both know and feel that we are loved. Do you need to incorporate more laughter into your life as good medicine for your spirit? Remember, you have encouragement from scripture to cultivate a cheerful heart. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no, we all need uh, to love. No, my spirit of laughter ngayon. No, okay. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa mga sadyante ko. Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> but if you keep on laughing, you need medicine. Oo nga naman, no? Imposible naman na lagi ka na natatawa na wala namang kakatawa nandiyan, no? So, we really need to keep our spirit up, smile, no? Kasi nga yung smile natin is, ano, hindi nakakapagpapatanda yan, no? Okay. So, guys, I have questions, no? Again, another two questions to ask you, but still, of course, I have to answer it. No, uh, so you'll have an idea on how to answer it also. No, but please, guys, don't forget to meditate on this meditation again no? and answer the following question referring to the verses we read and even to the testimony I read also in our devotional book. No, okay. Question: <clears throat> How has good humor, hope, you deal with life's challenges? recently no? kasi nga pag uh, yung mga humorous uh, ano wag lang yung mga bastos naman kasi ang nangyari sa atin is uh, we keep more on laughing about those mga walang katuturan na mga joke no but uh, if we just uh, give jokes yung mga natural na mga jokes no na ma oh, na makakapagpapatawa sa atin that would really bless us no so lately no Uh, parang we laugh at school, no? Sa mga kasamahan ko rin mga teachers, no? Maganda kasi pag ano, I remember when I was in uh, STI still, no? Nag ano ako talaga, nagset ako ng date na. Sabi, sabi ko, sige, mag ano at tayo, mag outin tayo. Wala pang ano, uh, pandemic noon. Mag outin tayo, but uh, yung outing namin was really a nice outing. Because we spend the whole day laughing, no? Uh, doon ko na ma, ano na discover na may mga kasamaan pala ako na magaling magpapatawa. So, we keep on laughing and I really cherish all those days, no? Whole day of laughter. So, yun, no? Okay. So, second question. What does it mean for you to be filled with joy of the Lord? Wow, ang ganda nun, no? Kasi nga, although you have problem, but still joy is in your heart. Because, nasa may na natin yan if you have problem, because the joy is there, no? Na makapagsabi tayo talaga na all things works together for good for those who love Him, no? Uh, kasi yung ano natin is uh, already ordered by God, no? The walk of a righteous man is already ordered by God. So, let's make our heart joyful, no? Let's be cheerful, let's be happy despite the thing that happens us, no? 
I was even threatened of that what happened to India no? in one day. Ang daming namatay. No? Ang daming cases na nangyari sa kanya. Hoping na uh, hindi mangyari sa atin to Kaya we need the protection also uh, from God. No? Okay guys, let's now pray. Almighty God, thank you for the gift of joy to fill our hearts. Amen and amen. No? Okay guys, sana may natutunan na naman tayo sa devotional natin. I encourage you to please uh, uh, do again, no? answer again the question I asked from you. Sana you'll not, uh, ano, you'll not only there to watch the video, but instead listen carefully kung ano yung sinasabi ni Lord. It's not me who's talking, but it's God. God is just using me as a, a mouthpiece to say God's word to you in order for us to have a good night rest for this evening. Yes, I prayed for you. Uh, uh, Ma'am, Anakolda ba yun, yung pangalan mo? Uh, I prayed for your concern. No? Amakolda, no? yung sa husband mo at sa'yo, yung mga I started praying for you. Uh, four months work about your children. No, sino pa yung si Distil Bagger ba yun? Uh, nag ano siya na magpapapray din. No? Saki Karyon, Jenilin Alferes, Marisa TV, to Michael Aborita, I'm praying for you. Even to you, MTO Travel, no? Mercedes Banabes, no? Okay guys, so if you still have more concern, prayer concern, no? I just want you to type it, no? In screenshot ko yan habang uh, kayo you ay nanonood at ako nanonood so i have concerns to pray for you also i usually prayed for you no uh, pray for you right after the devotionals no so guys sana may natutunan tayo ngayon this uh, evening no have a good night trust no uh, god bless us all because i know god would surely bless us 10 times better this is again rich of rich tv kita kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli Pa alam.